What is up guys? We have another This Week at Bungie to go over and this marks the first one for season of Arrival. So without further ado, let's get into it. This week at Bungie, we launched a whole bunch of missiles. It's been an action-packed week. Over the weekend, we watched as Rasputin sent literal ordnance into the sky to take down the Almighty in Destiny 2's first live in-game event. We followed that up with a mighty salvo of virtual launches in the form of media, articles, and a stream to showcase the future of Destiny. Season of Arrivals has started building a bridge to this fall, when Guardians will wield the darkness for the first time in Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Here's the full stream in case you haven't had a chance to watch it yet. Don't have time to watch the full stream? Here are a couple of the first looks at Destiny 2 Beyond Light. We're excited about the future of Destiny. To lay the groundwork, we have to make some changes to the core game. Several less explored locations and activities will be going into the Destiny content vault to pave the way for new hotness like Europa coming this fall. We lay out a lot of information on what to expect in our Building a Viable Future in Destiny 2 article. We know you have a lot more questions and we'll have answers to share throughout the summer. Since Season of Arrivals acts as a prelude to Beyond Light, we have held our plans for the season close to our chest until the reveal this week. The Pyramid ships have begun to arrive on Io and Eris is hard at work trying to decipher their intentions. She needs your help. Match Made in Heaven By the time this TWAB is published, a few changes to Crucible matchmaking will be live. Matchmaking based on player skill has been removed from all playlists except Elimination, Survival, and Survival Freelance. Trials of Osiris will continue to be matched based on the number of wins on your passage. We are doing this to respond to community feedback, shorten queue times for players, improve connection quality of matches, provide more places where the outcome of the match isn't as important as enjoying the experience, play into the strength of Crucible being a bombastic, frenetic action game. The pursuit of glory points in survival and attempting to go flawless in Trials of Osiris will allow those playlists to reinforce that the outcome of matches are important and keep the stakes high. We want the rest of the Crucible to be less of a high stakes environment where players can have a more relaxed experience and just enjoy the Destiny multiplayer sandbox. We will continue to monitor feedback and game data around these changes. If we decide to make any further adjustments, we'll let you know. Counted you one of my crew. The Destiny dev team has a quick update on a change we are making to the Dredgen title. Destiny dev team. Hey everyone. As you may have read here, we made some changes to the world loot pool. As a result, a few of the legendary weapons in the playing for keeps collection badge no longer have a reward source in the game. While we strongly believe that gear collection is a critical part of what it means to earn and wear a title, we're going to remove the playing for keeps badge from the dredgen title requirements in an update next week. While not trivial, the badge didn't represent the challenging portions of earning the title. We feel removing this requirement doesn't reduce the meaning of wearing dredging over your head. That said, we don't like making changes to titles as their complexity and depth is what gives them meaning. But in this case, the long-term weapon health outweighs a small change to the title. We know you have a lot of questions about how our Destiny Content Vault announcement this week will affect other triumphs and titles. We will have more details for you soon. Thank you and keep sending us feedback as we strive to make a meaningful, evolving world in Destiny. New Threads we have a new item from Bungie Rewards available to anyone brave enough to defeat the new dungeon before the end of the season. Players who complete Prophecy will unlock an Emissary of the Nine hoodie that can be purchased from the Bungie store. We will be adding more Bungie Rewards during Season of Arrival so keep an eye out. Ground Control to you. 
When new content is released, the player support team is carefully watching to identify any new issues that emerge so we can get fixes in the works. This is their report. Season of Arrivals and Beyond while the launch of Season of Arrivals on June 9th and with the announcement of Destiny 2 Beyond Light, Destiny player support wants to make players aware of resources that are available regarding said content. This includes Building a viable future in Destiny 2 Destiny, Past, Present, and Future Season of Arrivals support articles Max Power Level through Infusion Guide Destiny 2 Beyond Light Guide Please note that past season pass rewards from the previous season, Season of the Worthy, are available to claim here. Past season pass rewards from Season of the Worthy will be unable to claim when Season of Arrival ends. Hotfix 2.9.0.1 Hotfix 2.9.0.1 is planned for the week of Monday, June 15th. For more information on this release as it becomes available, players should visit our Destiny server and update status help article. For live updates as this maintenance occurs, players should follow at Bungie Help on Twitter or monitor our support feed at help.bungie.net. Charged with Light Shortly before the launch of Season of Arrivals, DPS became aware of a bug regarding the seasonal Charged with Light armor mods. This bug allows players to equip all of the current Seasonal Charge with Light armor mods on any of the Season of the Worthy armor pieces without having previously acquired them. While this bug will be fixed in Hotfix 2.9.0.1, the team has decided not to disable the mod until then to allow players to try out the mods for this week. Upcoming Resolved Issues Below is a list of issues that will be resolved with Hotfix 2.9.0.1. The Guardian Angel Artifact Armor Mod is not granting its perk when the mod is slotted. The Breach Resonator Artifact Armor Mod is not granting its perk when the mod is slotted. On controllers, Sprint will cancel if players press the Sprint action again. Players with a full Ingram inventory of Umbral Ingrams may be blocked from completing the Season of Arrivals opening quest. Visible holes are present in the EDZ terrain where the Seraph Tower used to be. Beyond Light pre-order items on Xbox. In order to receive the pre-order bonus items, players who have purchased the Destiny 2 Beyond Light or Destiny 2 Beyond Light Plus season pre-order bundles on Xbox need to manually download the Destiny 2 Beyond Light pre-order pack. Players who have purchased the Destiny 2 Beyond Light Deluxe Edition pre-order bundle on Xbox will need to manually download both the Destiny 2 Beyond Light pre-order pack and the Destiny 2 Beyond Light exotic emote. From the Xbox dashboard, highlight the Destiny 2 image. Select Manage Game and Add-ons. Navigate to the Ready to Install section on the left. Destiny 2 Beyond Light pre-order pack should appear on the right. For Deluxe Edition owners, Destiny 2 Beyond Light Exotic Emote should also be listed. Select Destiny 2 Beyond Light pre-order pack on the right, then select Install. Deluxe Edition owners should also select Destiny 2 Beyond Light Exotic Emote on the right, then select Install. Wait for the console to report the DLC is installed. Start Destiny 2 and visit the Cryptarch in the tower to acquire all pre-order items. Some players who have already pre-ordered may run into an issue where the pre-order pack and exotic emote are not showing in the ready to install section. For those players, these are the next steps. Open the Microsoft Store app and navigate to the specific bundle they purchased. Select the install button. This shouldn't take long. It's no more than 30 megabytes. Ready to install for Destiny 2 in my games and apps should now be populated with the missing DLC. If reinstalling the bundle doesn't populate ready to install, players should try these steps. Open the Microsoft Store app. 
Search for Destiny 2 Beyond Light pre-order pack and select it from the search results. On the product page, select Install. For Deluxe Edition owners, repeat the above steps for Destiny 2 Beyond Light Exotic Emote. Wait for those downloads to complete and then try the game again. Current Known Issues While we continue investigating various known issues, here is a list of the latest issues that were reported to us in our hashtag help forum. The Almost Mighty Exotic Ghost Shell and the Saints Vocation Exotic Ship appear invisible. The Tommy's Matchbook Catalyst Quest has been removed from player inventories. The Destiny 2 Beyond Light pre-order emblem does not appear in the collections. Amanda Holiday has two legendary ships in her inventory that can't be purchased. Console players may experience blackout emblems, invisible ships, and a power level of zero in orbit. Dying to environmental hazards or the architects will sometimes show a recommended power level of a bunch of numbers. For a full list of emergent issues in Destiny 2, players can review our Known Issues article. Players who observe other issues should report them to our hashtag help forum. So this TWAB didn't really have much. I had a feeling that it, it really wouldn't, to be honest. Um, the fact that uh, skill-based matchmaking in Crucible is, uh, you know, gone, I think is actually a really good thing. Um, I think it'll actually kind of take the sweat out of playing just a regular control match against, you know, the sweatiest people ever. So, I mean, I think that's a good thing. But again, they didn't really have too much information going on here. Um, obviously, we will put all of the links to the previous streamed uh, reveal. We did a video on that Tuesday when the new expansion dropped. And you guys can check that out and see everything that is coming with Beyond Light. But other than that, that's pretty much it. We are glad you guys stopped by. And we will be back again tomorrow for the first Where is Zer for the season of Arrival. But for now, that's all from us. We will see you guys later. Peace.